Elaine Thompson Hera runs second in her first 200 meter race for the 2023 season. Should we be worried? Plus, Rashawn Clark is on top of the world. And Melissa Jefferson looks good. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. Really do that. Hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, at the recently concluded Carifta Games, the 50th Carifta Games held in Bahamas, Jamaica's very own Roshan Clark lifted the trophy for Carifta 2023 Best Athlete. The trophy is called the Austin Sealy Challenge Trophy. Clark, who retained his boys on the 20 400 meter hurdles title, on the event in a season's best and world under 20 leading time of 49.92 seconds 11th best in the world and second only to gardens at jehu gardens championship record of 49.72 seconds set uh 20 in the guyana in 2010 Sean Clark was also a part of the under-20 men's four winning four by 400 meter relay team that closed the championships uh, joined, he joins an illustrious list of Jamaicans who have won that award previously. Off they go. Washington Clark in lane number four rises quickly. The Ketishan. Hawkins. With work to do down the back stretch. But Russian Clark hurtling smoothly at this stage has gone by Ford. His teammate has gone by Bain, the Bohemian. And Laqueer as well. He's in charge, Roshan Clark. Craig Prendergast of Antigua and Barbuda running well on the outside. He hits a barrier. Forbes of Jamaica comes into second. But Roshan Clark is destroying this field. The defending champion heading towards another Carifta gold medal. He stumbles. But that does not stop him from winning gold and threatening the record held by Jehu Gordon. Kudos and congrats to you, Roshan Clark. Now, Melissa Jefferson, who competes for the United States, ran in today's 200 meters Olympic development run. On top of the time of 23.02. Now, we know that last year, she was the top female sprinter at the U.S. National Trials in the 100 meters. And there was a lot of hope placed on her uh, by the U.S. and the U.S. citizens in terms of what they expected of her at World Championships. Let's say she did not fare as well. Now, we know she's been going hard in terms of her training. And um, this first 200 win is a solid look for her season. Now, the reason you clicked on the video, the remarkable Elaine thompson Hera. Yes, Elaine thompson Hera ran on her first 200 meters for the 2023 season, and she did not win. Oh, no. Oh, no. She didn't win. Ah. Should we be panicking? No, people. You do not need to panic. It's her first 200 meter run. Elaine thompson Hera came second in a time of 23.23 behind Melissa Jefferson of the United States and ahead of Felicia Brown Edwards, who ran 23.42 to take that um, second, third spot. The wind reading was one, plus 1.8, so this were, was a legitimate time. Now, um, Elaine thompson Hera competed in the women's 200-meter dash Olympic development run. This is really the first 200 meters. She was in heat one running alongside Jamaica, Jamaica's Janelle Bromfield, who we highlighted in a previous video. Bromfield ran 23.72 to take the seventh spot. Now, they had two finals. So these were timed finals, if you understand what I'm saying, meaning that they went by the persons who had the fastest time. And in this instance, um, Tom Sahara had the second fastest time behind the person with the fastest time was Melissa Jefferson. 
Now, by comparison to her 2022 season, Elaine Thompson Harrell has been kind of quiet. She's only ran three races. Well, this is her fourth today. She ran 260 meters at first. This was the first. first. second 60 meter was in jamaica and then she ran a 400 meters where she ran okay for the first 300 and then faded in the last 100 you're watching that race right now now this of course is my two cents should we start to panic unequivocally absolutely no 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 you do not need to panic um jefferson looked good so did elaine people I'm going to try and explain this again. These are pro athletes. So everyone is trying to peak, meaning be at their very best physically in terms of their running prowess between the national championships in their individual countries' national trials and the world championship, which is the big one, which is the one that everyone is trying to get on that podium. So what she's doing is simply taking her time. She has enough time um you do remember that when she ran and won her gold medal in 2020 in the 200 meters she had barely ran any 200 meters she's okay just like last year um several of you saw uh sharika jackson lose a few 200 meters she, she lost to gabby thomas at one point i think she even lost to dina asher smith and many persons started to panic and i said the same thing i said it's they're pro athletes people so it is not in their best interest to start the season at their best. That's a very bad idea. She just needs to get her legs under her and build her stamina, build her speed. She looked good in the run. Once we're able to share the, the actual video with you, we will. So there is absolutely no need for you to panic and run around and pull out your hair. It's just not necessary. It's very early in the season. This is her fourth race. And as far as I'm aware, her very, very first 200 meter run for the entire 2023 season with a fairly competitive field. Kudos to Melissa Jefferson. Great run. Great run to Elaine Thompson-Hera. I am not concerned. I do not think you need to be. Give her time. She'll be fine. Just remember what happened to Cherika Jackson last year when many of you were running around putting out your hair. She will be okay. I'm going to say it one last time. The, the, what pro athletes at, this, at any level do is that they are trying to peak for world championships. That's what you want to peak for. That's when you want her to be running at her best. That's what Shelly is doing. Shelly, any top tier athlete, that's what they're doing. In fact, any pro athlete who's worth their salt, that's what they're doing. This is her first 200 meter race. She's fine. Stop stressing. This is nothing to worry about. But this, of course, is my two cents. I would absolutely love to hear your thoughts. Are you terrified? Are you panicked? Do you think that this is the end? Oh, no. Oh, game over, man. Game over. Seriously, I'm not. I want to hear your thoughts. <laughs> now, congrats to her and congrats to Mr. Je Melissa Jefferson. And good try, Janelle Broomfield. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit the like button. Remember, you are royals. You are kings and queens. Bless up. <laughs>